Yeah, we are. Hey everyone, welcome to episode Dev Diary Four, four of the Me Molecule making the board game. Uh, Me Molecule theme board game. I just came back from work, so I'm a bit tired. So please bear with me. But uh, yeah, we are here, and um, yesterday, Andreas made a lot of progress over a three-hour stream, where we made a couple of game pieces. Blue Meat Squirrel made a lot of um, for design cards, and we decorated the board a little bit with uh, the production department and other cool stuff. So now, uh, today, we are Andrea has actually worked on the game. Uh, a little bit more after the stream, so he added the concepts of vending machines and other cool stuff. If um, Andreas, if you don't mind walking us through that kind of yeah. stuff, please. So basically, vending machines like this one, as you can see here from the little design, that uh, you can pay one of your pins and get one card of any department you want. So that's one mechanic, and it's found here and here. So basically, what I did is, uh, basically, there are two roads here, as you can see, like, um, on the way on the way forward, you can either go through here, which is the long road, or the short one. But I made it so that the short one is a bit more risky, so I think sometime mm -hmm. it would be easier to go to the long, long one, and then just get more rewards and stuff. So the second one is called uh, computer crash, which is this one, this tile here. And if you drop, if you stand on this tile, then it means you have to burn. Um, basically, you roll a die, dice, and then um, the number uh, that is the same on the on the on the dice as your hand that gets discarded. For example, if you have six cards, you roll you roll dice and if you have a 6 you remove the card number 6 so is it is it is it die if, if it's like singular or is it dice it's one die for singular and dice all right for yeah, yeah yeah all right so, so you basically roll one die i need to, yeah i need to change that how do you spell it though is it how do you spell die D uh Y E. Alright. Hey one at Bancy, how's it going? Hey Craig, welcome. Craig is the number one fan right now. Sorry? He deserves like you know what we should do, Andreas? I think for the biggest fans for the game who have been sticking with us for the developer stream, we should give them a game piece. What do you say? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. They get to choose what game piece game piece they want because maybe they don't want themselves, maybe they want something else. So they get I to agree. choose. It has to be something related to media molecule, but they get to choose what it is. So, um, so basically, computer crashes. You roll a die, just one, and then discard the card that is the same as. So many misspells. The discard the card that matches the die you roll. Right. So basically, that involves a little bit of strategy because if you have more than seven, more than six, out. Oh. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's with a Y, <laughs> so with a I. All right, cool learning. So yeah, if th there is um, some sort of strategy involved, because if you have more than six cards, then you want to arrange them in your hand so that the most important one is the seventh. So you will never drop that card if that if you happen to step on a computer crash. And nice. also, also if you're if you. Uh, there was another one. There's another strategy involved, I can't remember it now. But yeah, the most important ones go 7th class. That's a cool strategy. So new mechanics, um, just to recap really quickly what Andreas has been telling us. Uh, vending machines, discarded card, oh, sorry, discarded MM pin and get another card. Maybe later on, before we play test, maybe we can alter that a little bit, we'll see how it goes. We have the computer crashes. Um, if you roll a die, uh, I believe you said that the card gets discarded, right? You discard one card. Yeah. Yep. And then you also have meetings. I don't know if we talked about that yet. 
like in detail. All right, let's talk about coffee breaks because it's the next one I haven't talked okay, about. Okay, coffee breaks. So yeah. there's only one coffee break because it's kind of a... Think of the prison in Monopoly. So that's the coffee break here. So if you step on the coffee break, it's basically on the door that goes upstairs in like the real studio here. I'm gonna make the mm -hmm. stairs and everything. So if you step on this one, you have to roll a six, otherwise you cannot exit, like move the next turn. So say you step on the coffee break, your turn ends, the next turn, you need, as it says here, you can only move away when one of your dice rolls a six. Is that very sorry? Yep. One of your dice or six. All right. So yeah. So alternatively to that, you can pay three pins to move out. So it's kind of like the jail in Monopoly, the mechanic. But it's a bit easier to go out because you have more choices, you have more chances. Yeah. Um, Alright, so yeah, we need to still do the meeting, I haven't done the meeting yet. So basically the meeting, each player selects a card and gives it to the, ne to the player. Uh, is it to their left or on their left? Um, the player to the left. Alright. And then the inside, which is basically discard a card, uh, one discard card of your choice. Is it discard one card of your choice? You need to change that as well. I just made it, so I have to do some things. Discard one card of your choice. Draw one that is of the same department. Does that make sense, or do I need an end? <laughs> Because I don't uh, have space. <laughs> I can't see it because you're a bit zoomed out there for a bit. I need you to zoom in a little bit so I can read the text. Sorry. Oh, is it bad quality then? Uh, no, I'm just have a f like small screen. Alright. It's, it's not you, it's me. Maybe they could sell their hand and hold them on. Like, um, Oh, yeah, but if you then you remove the strategy involved. Maybe maybe you want one card, a specific card, to be um, it's very useful and very much needed for your hand or something. So you might need to protect it. Mm -hmm. Then also rewards um, late game because in the beginning of the game, computer crash will be devastating. Whereas in the late game, where you have like tons of cards. Then you don't really care because you put the bad ones on the first uh, six. So Do you know why they go be cool for computer crashes? Do you know how in Monopoly, if you go to jail, if you have to get one free card, you can go out of jail. Maybe for computer crashes, you can be like, oh, I have a restore point. You can restore back to where you are. You can keep your card. Oh uh, yeah, backup. that would make sense. But it's not so devastating if you think about it. Like maybe. Maybe there is uh, maybe coffee break is a bit more devastating because you lose turns all the time. Maybe there is something that you can have that surpasses all the rules. Because all rules, if you if you think about it, all rules um, discard something. If you yeah, no, yeah, that makes sense. So maybe you can have some sort of um, exception rule or exception card that makes you skip those if you want. Maybe we can have one in the events, so when you get that card, you can use the exception rule and then just uh, skip any of those if you want, and then use the exception rule and discard the card. Yeah. So we can have yeah, something that sounds good. I mean, we can change it afterwards during testing, it doesn't look good. Yeah. But, yeah. but I think any anything on this list is not really too bad. Even even the computer grass. If you think about it, it's very rare that you get something well you get to remove one card anyway, but most of the times you may have four cards and you may roll a five, so you get to discard nothing. So only if you have at least six cards then it starts to be devastating. And then if you have like more than six, then it starts to be less devastating because you put your cards into after six, you know. So yeah. it's only devastating for one point in the game, like the middle game. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we can. Um, I, I, by the way, I sent an email to Jenny to ask her if she can tell us any events that happened to the studio, so we can add them as events.
Oh yeah, I still didn't get, um, I'm still waiting on a reply for the board game email. I didn't get anything to She's probably just busy. Uh, alright, anyway, um. Alright, let's do the meeting first. So, meeting. Then we're gonna do. It's gonna do two people talking. Do they have like beanbag chairs you can sit on and stuff? Sorry? Like beanbag chairs. What is that? Beanbag chairs? Chairs made out of beanbags? Hang on, let me Google it. Beanbag chairs. You should have had it in the recreation room. Oh. Well, is that the ones that they. They don't have a back, or? They made out of beans? Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe not out of beans, but like, here. It's a reference. Oh, okay. So, do they have that in their offices? In the top floor, I believe. Did huh. you remember, um... Uh... They were talking about times when they had beanbag races, where they... Were, Toss a meat bag and throw themselves onto the meat bag and slide across the room. Uh, and then right. Johnny tried to do it once and he completely missed and he like burnt his whole upper chest. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Craig says you can say draw one in the same department, but it works too. Say draw one in the same department. Alright. One works too, yeah. Alright, while Andreas draws the meeting area, what should we do for our game piece today? Hmm. We got Squirrel, Iota, Sack Boy. We got Jenny, we got um We can do some yellow uh, molecules. Ooh, who should we do? We can do Alex, we can do Mark. Let's do Alex because he just recently retweeted our tweet. Wahaha. Ha. Alright, cool. So let's do Alex Evans. Alex, Alex, what kind of picture should we use for a reference today? Let's find one. Alex. Did you know Alex is a Wikipedia? So does uh, Mark Healy. He's what? In Wikipedia? Yeah, he has his own Wikipedia page. Oh. Why? Oh, you mean like Wikipedia has a page on them? Yeah, uh, he has his own Wikipedia page about him, himself. Oh, also, nice. apparently there's an Alexandra Evans, who is a British actress and model. <laughs> okay. Who knew? That is not Alex Evans. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> the wool images is very deceiving. Oh, wait. I think here's one. This will do. Didn't you have one that you guys drawn, Alex, or something? I think you had one. We do. Do you want the one with or without the afro? Uh, without, I guess. <laughs> Something more realistic. Let me, give you, <laughs> let me give you a real one, and let me give you the vector one. Here's a real one. Oh, I'm gonna go through. One second. Oh, I lost. Oh, there you are. Skype. 
So I'm putting it through for some reason. I'll just link you it. Come on now. And let me get you the other one. Ignore the bushy eyebrows, though. Sorry? Ignore the bushy eyebrows. He doesn't have eyebrows like that. Uh, okay. Oh my god. I keep tripping on my mic. <laughs> Don't destroy your room. Got some meetings are blue. Let's make it this blue. So where do you reckon we should put meetings? I think one meeting should definitely be on this curve here, on the last one. Uh, I would need to see the board to check out where you put it. It's still on the. All right. On your paint program. The meetings. Well, if the meeting room is right near the entrance, right? Maybe we should put it somewhere there if we have room. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I put the rules there, on the meeting rooms. Mm. Uh, you mean close to them, so it means the meeting room. Yeah, that's why I said the, the end curve. It'll be somewhere in the end curve. Yeah, the end curve would be great. Like, you see where it says start? Like, the arrow? Yeah. I would take out the arrow, put the meeting rooms there, and then instead of, the, like, the chicken board for, like, start, what I would do is that I would try to find a more, like, uh, simplifying way to show that's where you start. And uh, other than that, I will also say, make sure you have some room, like to see what the goal is, like to go around to do this. Yeah, but maybe we'll, some more extra rules. We'll have a yeah. we'll have a rules rules book. So okay, cool. That's that's only the rules that are very, very straightforward. Like I'm not gonna put them on the tile because it doesn't have enough space. So I put them on the bottom. Whereas yeah. we'll have a rule book that says all the conditions and all that stuff. And even if that is not enough, we can also have a plaque, plaque, or like a little paper next to the board that says more stuff. That's cool that we got papers actually, that's really nice. Uh, okay, so what I would suggest, Andreas, where you have to start, the casual starting point right there by the chicken board, I would get rid of the start sign, that way we have room in, in, within the interior of that curve, like you said, um, that's where we can put the meeting. And then let me try to find a way where we can make the start line more creative without having the big huge start arrow over there. Yeah, yeah we can do that. But uh, there is no. It doesn't need more space than one square. Because it's just, uh, as you can see here on the computer crash, it's just a little sign inside the square. So it doesn't need any extra uh, space. Maybe we can use the extra space for something else. Maybe yeah, yeah, we can do. Me. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of squares on that curve, so one of them might need more space. But yeah, for the meeting, is I don't think we need more space because it's like the other ones. Okay. Only, only the vending machine requires a bit more space because of the machine itself. Um, do whatever you feel like, but um, I think we can find a way to make starting point without having a start sign. Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah. We can think of something. Where do, oh, yeah. I cut it. I need to paste it. Alright, so I'm gonna place one here. There we go.
So what I'm Banshee, how are you doing today? Thank you again for joining our stream. And apologies for the cars passing by. I'm on a busy road. Do you hear them? Oh, I forgot the music. <laughs> the best part, Andreas is awesome music he made all by himself. Three meetings or two meetings? Oh, I'll see three for now. Inside it will be, uh, I think I'm gonna do like a lighting, light bulb, so like an idea. That's a good idea. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> F4, I think I keep thinking that it, that will end the stream, so <laughs> no pressing F4.
I'm gonna be so sad when this project is over. <laughs> we'll like watching you create stuff. I love twinning the stuff you do.
Oh wow, Craig is working on a report he has finished by tomorrow, but he's listening to the stream. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Look what we'll do report. I should probably talk more so you can listen to us talking. I feel bad just him sitting there listening to mouse clicks. <laughs> yeah, but if we talk enough, uh, he won't be uh, focusing. Oh yeah. So I think it's also good to listen to the music. Yeah. But um, just to get it out of the way really quickly, Andreas, you said before we started the stream, you had some really cool game concepts you want to talk about. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. So I can run them down right now. So basically, I was thinking. Um, there are two alternatives. The one is the one we have right now, where everybody has his uh, own design document. And then there is the other alternative that basically all players share one design document. So basically you need to work with others to complete the game. And then whoever reports it after it's complete wins. Like whoever goes into the... So for the other one that you had, all players to work together on their on that one design document. Yeah. So there is only one design document, you know, like the, the paper, and whoever gets, mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, you get cards, but you cannot instantly play them into the design document. You need to go into a special tile that lets you submit one into the, you know, like submit one card. And then after it's complete, it also when you submit a card, the others have to approve it. And if, if the whole thing just makes sense when it's complete, then the first person who reaches the studio manager to show the game wins. But I think I think the one we have now is also I think it's better because it encourages I don't know more, more funny options. stuff. Yeah. Not to mention um. We don't have a player limit yet, so if you're gonna have six players working on one game design document, it's gonna be pretty crazy. Yeah, if, if there are a lot of players, it will be a very short game. Yeah. Alright, so this is the inside. He says that music it's relaxing, it's fine. Well, I'm really glad you enjoyed uh, Andreas' music. Actually, um, Craig, if you haven't heard of it before, but it's about you well, listen to it for a time, I can give you some links to his music. Just give me one second, I'll post them in the chat. Yeah, so basically Andreas is basically a guy with like many, many talents. He makes music, he can like code, he can design stuff, he's pretty epic. He also does. He also did some really couple of game, really cool couple of game jams lately, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I think that's uh, what you have to do today to be an indie desi game designer. Like you need to know.